It was an emotional affair for the beauty queen as her father, alongside her grandmother, welcomed her at the airport. The beauty queen says it was an honor representing Namibia internationally and quite an experience and journey for her. She also encouraged those that want to pursue their dreams not to let anything get in the way to block their dreams. Sharply says that she did not participate in the Miss Universe pageant for herself, but for the Namibian nation at large. I was representing my country not just as a queen but as an ambassador for my country with a certain mandate of authority and I want to encourage all the young women to embark on this opportunity to become the next Miss Namibia because it's not about looking pretty, it's not about the heels and the makeup or the designer clothing, it's about your heart, it's about your mindset and it's about the willpower to want to do more, to want to do better. Sharply, who stayed in New Orleans, Louisiana, for more than two weeks, described her experiences as a dream come true. However, she says that her being there was pure hard work with a lot of fun that comes with empowering moments. She also indicated that she was not just there to grab a title, but to make memories that she can bring back for the next generation. The thing I encountered is that we all have different aspirations, but at the end of the day we are all the same. And I believe that women need to unite and we need to uplift each other in the best way possible. Through empowering each other, we influence the men around us and so we just build on that motivation.